Hello everyone, welcome to Quantifiers. So students, in this session, I have taken a question on time, speed and distance. It's a very good question. I would say it is very relevant to CAT. A level is also very relevant. It is not very easy, not at all tough. So all of you should try this question. Now, before moving on, let me tell you guys that if you are a serious CAT aspirant and you want to receive important notifications on your WhatsApp related to different colleges, different exams, then please fill the form given below in the description. Other than this, students, uh, we have a Telegram group and WhatsApp group for doubt clearing. If you wish to join that, a uh, link for that is also given in the description. Now, I would request everyone, please pause the video and give this question a try. I hope all of you have tried it. So, students, in the question, it is given that Kiran usually takes 10 hours to ride from Lucknow to Agra. Now, one day, her car had a technical issue at Firozabad. So she has to stop for 20 minutes. After that, she increases her speed by 25% and reaches Agra 20 minutes before her scheduled time. Very important information. So use this information. See, there are certain things uh, which you could have concluded orally only without drawing any figure. But just to make you understand, let me draw the figure. So let's say this is Lucknow or this is Agra and somewhere in between is let's say Firozabad. Now it is given she stops at Firozabad for 20 minutes. So let me write here. She stops for 20 minutes. Now students think logically she is stopping for 20 minutes at Firozabad. Had her speed been constant, agar uski speed mein koi bhi change na aata, so she should have been late by 20 minutes. But in actual, what is happening? In actual, she increases her speed by 25%. So let me draw another figure to make you understand. So let's say this is Lucknow, Agra, Firozabad. Now from Firozabad to Agra, she increases her speed by 25%. And she is able to reach 20 minutes before scheduled time. So she reaches 20 minutes early. Now students, can I say, first case, had she traveled with constant speed, she would have been late by 20 minutes. Now when she increases her speed by 25%, she is reaching 20 minutes early. You just need to see what is the difference between these two times. Pehle case mein late by 20 minutes. Dusre case mein 20 minutes early. That means now she is taking 40 minutes less. Okay. In actual, she is taking 40 minutes less. Now she is able to say 40 minutes. Why? Because this particular distance from Firozabad to Agra, now she is traveling with the increased speed. So the speed badhali is level 40 minutes up safe kar pari. Now let me quickly tell you that what is 25%? 25% in terms of fraction is 1 by 4. Is ka matlab hai ki agar speed pehle 4 thi. Agar speed pehle 4 thi. Now the speed will increase by 1. Right? Because 1 fourth is 25%. So speed increases by 1. That means if speed was before 4, then what speed will be? Now speed will be 5. So can I say ratio of speeds would be 4 is to 5? Because speed is increasing by 25%. So we have made the speed of 4. So now the speed will be 5. Ho I hope all of you know if distance is constant. right? If distance is constant, then whatever is the ratio of speeds, time ka ratio is re reciprocal. Hoga. So ratio of time would be 5 is to 4. Now, you just need to use this concept. Students, in this particular case, Firozabad to Agra, let's say her usual speed is 4. Her normal speed is 4. In the next case, she is traveling with a speed of 5. So, ratio of speed is 4 is to 5. So, can I say ratio of time will be 5 is to 4? And now, students, we know that she is able to say 40 minutes. So, that means there is a difference of one part. Pehle time agar 5 tha, to apka time 4 hai. Difference is of one part. In actual, this difference is of 40 minutes. So if one part is equal to 40 minutes, 
that means five parts is equal to how much five parts is equal to 200 minutes that means students when she travels with her normal speed she takes 200 minutes from Firozabad to Agra so if she takes 200 minutes from Firozabad to Agra and total she takes 10 hours now 10 hours is equal to how much time 10 hours in terms of minutes is 600 minutes so that means from Lucknow to Firozabad, she usually takes 400 minutes. Now, what do we need to find? We need to find the ratio of distance between Lucknow to Firozabad and Firozabad to Agra. Okay, students. So you can see from Lucknow to Firozabad, time is 400. From Firozabad to Agra, time is 200. So ratio is what? Whatever is the ratio of time here, will also be the ratio of the distance. So 2 is to 1 would be the answer. Okay, students, so it's a great question. See, no need to draw this figure. If you can figure out orally that she is able to say 40 minutes when she is traveling with 25% more speed. Agar aap padke ye cheez figure out kar pa rahe ho, then no need to draw all these things. But just to make you understand, I had to draw the figure. I hope this is clear to everyone. If you like the video students, then please do share it with your friends and do subscribe our channel. Thank you everyone.